Hey guys, it's Julia here, and today I'm back with another Looking Back, which this is going to go up a day late because I started school and stuff, so I don't have as much time, but, you know, there's only three more episodes left, so if they go up a bit late, I'm sorry, but they won't be super late. So, anyway, this is that little Acer netbook, which I'm going to show you guys. So, yeah, it's an Acer Aspire 1, and this thing is really old. I will tell you guys the backstory of it. So, one of my grandma's friends gave it to me. It was one of their old laptops. So, that's pretty much all I really have to say because the thing is is that there isn't much backstory to this because it was just given to me by my grandma's friend. It did have Windows XP on it when I got it. And I believe it might have been an OEM install. I don't remember. I'll see if I can find pictures if I have time. But I don't know if I do or not. So. If I don't, I'm sorry, but anyway, I installed quite a few OS's on this over the years though. I remember I installed Windows 10 S on it, and I had a video on that, which I'll link above in a card and in the description, and it didn't run very well. It would BSOD a lot and stuff. It's just this computer can run Windows 10, but it's not really designed for Windows 10, so... Basically, it just crashes a lot and stuff, and I actually did have a technical preview on here, which you guys saw last year, and it even crashed on me too, at the funniest time as well. It was really funny. It found the driver. Oh! <laughs> it blew screen! I didn't even do that! But I'll also link that as a card and in the description if you want to watch that one. And any other videos I find, I'll put in the description because there may be more. But that might still be on here. I'm not sure because I might have messed with it because it's been a while though since I've touched this computer. I haven't even powered it on. So we're going to be powering it on in this video and see what's even on here. If that's still on here or if I wiped it, I don't remember. So let's push the power button and see what it does. It's like a mystery. I don't know what it's going to do. Oh, it's XP. Okay, so I guess I did install XP on it at one point. I know before I wanted to, but I guess I already did. Although, being honest, yeah, XP probably runs the best on it because it's meant for XP. But I am going to try something in this video to see how it runs. I might end up putting it back on XP after. I'm not sure, but let's look at the specs. Windows XP, wow, it's Service Pack 2, yikes. This wasn't an up-to-date XP, so I might as well reinstall it anyway if I do. It's got an Intel Atom N270 at 1.60 gigahertz and only a gig of RAM. Oh wow, I put the best company in the world that I always used to put on Windows XP when I was going through setup, which is the lame company. I don't even know how or why I came up with that, but that I always used to put back in the past, back in like 2013, 2014, when I used to install XP. You guys probably remember those computer adventures. I probably did it in those two back in the day. It's just something funny that I just always stuck with, I guess. But... What is that folder? Drivers. So, it's got drivers on it. I might actually back these up because these drivers might be good to keep in handy in case I need them for something. So I might do that because I'm not sure where they're stored. I might have a copy of them somewhere, but I'm not sure. So I might just back them up to be safe. But anyway, this computer has XP on it which, you know, it's meant for XP, to be honest. So, yeah, but there is something I want to try that's on my Ventoy. Actually, this probably won't be able to read my Ventoy because it's XFAT, I think, and XP cannot read XFAT, so I have a feeling it's not going to read this. Or there's no drivers to even read it. Oh. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to open it. It's going to probably ask me to format it. Yeah, no. And it beeped at me. Alright. I'm going to unplug it. And plug in another one. 
I wonder if this one's also. This is my old Ventoy, which I think I formatted, but I don't know what file system it is. But if it's one XP doesn't like, it's probably not going to show. Oh, it does show. Oh yeah, this was the Vista with extended kernel ISO that I used for that one video. So, I don't know if I have these. So, why is it beeping at me? I didn't do anything. What is this thing doing? And in case I ever do want to put XP back on here, because I don't know if I'm going to keep what I'm putting on here or not. I just want to try it and see how it runs. But it's just a netbook and it's not very powerful or anything like that. It's nothing special. It's nothing crazy. Do I want to restart? I mean, do I want to restart? Okay, whatever. It looks like it's not activated, so it's probably gonna complain. Oh, it says 30 days, probably because the time and date's wrong. I bet the CMOS is bad. Yeah, 2001. Okay, well, I'm just gonna pull it out and restart it and see if we can boot this. I don't know the boot menu key for this because it's been quite a while since I had messed with it. Let's see what it says at the bottom. F12. I don't know if this can boot USBs. Or if it'll even boot Ventoys. Oh, it does boot. Okay. So, I'm gonna try Windows 7 Super Nano Lite. I heard this is a very light Windows 7 ISO. So I wanna try it on here and see how it performs. I heard it's very stripped down. I got it a while back, or not too long ago, but it was on like archive.org. I know it's very stripped down and probably has like barely anything in it. I would only ever use this on a computer that is literally like this. Although how often am I going to pull out this computer? Probably not often, so it's fine, but yeah. Okay, so Ventoy works on this. That's actually cool because I didn't know if Ventoy worked on this. I don't know if this is normal or not because I've never actually booted this ISO, but what in the world? I don't know if that's normal for this ISO or not. Although the fact it's stripped down, it might actually be normal. Windows 7 Professional. All right, let's erase this. And after it's erased, new, apply, okay. And then next. I just realized there was still an allocated space there. I just noticed that. There was still an allocated space. Did it not allocate all the space? We're gonna check that after this installs. I think it left space behind. That's so weird. Okay, this is installing really fast. I've never actually installed this before. I just downloaded it, so... Yeah. I have no idea. I have no idea at all. That is like the fastest installation I think I've ever seen of Windows. And I know this video, I don't know how exciting it's gonna be honestly because this computer really didn't have much backstory but I needed to show it and I wanted to do something with it. But I will guarantee you the next few videos will actually be good. Like the last two looking backs are going to be more interesting than this one probably. Especially the next one you guys are going to see because it has more than one computer in it. So look forward to the next looking back that's going to be on Monday.
well, it might be end up being Tuesday, because you guys are probably seeing this now on Saturday. Yeah, the next one will be more exciting. Setup is updating registry settings. I can probably pull this out. Well, I don't know if I can, because I think it's booting back into the installer. Maybe. Yeah, and this looks actually normal. Now, why did I want to put 7 on this instead of XP? I feel like Windows XP is at that time where it's just... It's kind of old, and I don't know how usable it really is, and the fact that I can't even connect XP to my home network because of the security, and I can only connect 7 and higher to my Wi-Fi, I feel like having 7 would be better. I mean, I still have a few XP systems, but XP is really, really ancient now. I mean, I do miss XP, though. Alright guys, it was just booting again, and we're gonna see what it does. Because this is interesting and something I've never used before. I have used other ISOs in the past of light Windows 7s, but I've never used something like this. I'll just do Aspire-1. I doubt this can join a domain because it's so stripped down that it probably doesn't even have it. I mean, it does have updates, I think, maybe. Windows is finalizing your settings. Welcome. It will need drivers. It's not gonna probably have any drivers, which is fine. I'm not gonna install them in this video or anything though, because honestly, I just wanted to show this off. Oh wow, it has a Chrome installer, that's funny. Now this does look pretty stripped down. Let's open the properties. Yeah, Windows 7 Professional. And it's got one gig of RAM, like I said. Now all the same stuff. It's 32-bit because I believe this is a 32-bit only CPU as well. Let's see how much space we're using. We're using less than a gig of space? What? 148 gig free of 148 gig. What in the world? This takes up barely anything. Okay, this is lighter than I thought. Wow. That's impressive. What's installed on here? Barely anything, just the bare essentials. This is crazy. I never thought Windows 7 could take less than a gig. That's actually quite impressive. There's no battery for some reason because I think the battery in this is bad and it doesn't detect it for some reason. Because there is a battery in it, but it just doesn't work. That's not what I wanted to click. Sound? I don't think we have sound. It says we do, but I don't think so. I don't think we even have device manager to even check. Because that's stripped down. What I'd do with this netbook, honestly, probably just mess around with it. I mean, it has a very light copy of Windows 7 that takes barely any space at all. In fact, let's actually see how fast it boots up. So if I reboot it, let's see how fast it boots. Because why not? Honestly curious to see how fast this boots. So, it's booting up, but I'll say this, the next two looking backs I have after this one are definitely more exciting because they're on computers that are actually more exciting. The last few computers I had weren't the most exciting backstories, and I just didn't know what to do and I was starting school, so... A lot was going on, that's why this video is late. I have a lot of schoolwork to also do tomorrow as well. So I'll probably edit this in the morning or something and upload it. So it's like a day late. It was still a little slow, but it wasn't that slow. I mean, this is a netbook. I think a light OS for this would honestly be good for it. Like a very stripped down 7. I don't know how normal 7 would run on this because I never tried it. But maybe that is something I can also try. 
because, you know, I'm just messing with it. Then again, I have a lot going on right now that I probably won't be able to mess with it for a little while. But I just wanted to install something on it and show something interesting because, you know, why not? So I think I'm going to wrap up this looking back. Not much of a backstory. Like I said, look forward to my last two looking backs. I did get a Wednesday video up this week, which I think was pretty good. So that's awesome. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoying the series. I really hope, even though the last few weren't the greatest, but you know, some computers, like I said, doesn't have much to them. So yeah. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a good one. Look forward to Monday's video or Tuesday, depending on if I am able to get it out on time. And bye-bye for now.